Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good evening, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. The juvenile police said was involved in the death of a Ball State student will no longer face murder charges. The state dismissed the charges against the 14-year-old. However, the Delaware County Prosecutor's Office says he will still be charged with two counts of theft as a minor. 22-year-old Damian Sanders and 18-year-old Brandon, Brandon Patterson are still being held at the Delaware County Jail on murder charges for the March 7th shooting of 20-year-old Carl Harford. Well, just a few weeks ago, the future was uncertain for employees at a major Madison County company. But what a difference a man and money makes. Newslink Indiana's Jill Crehan has the story from Elwood. State plating was scheduled to close on April 2nd. The company had a very good operating performance. They just had a tremendous amount of debt that they couldn't service. But six weeks before that date, Randy Railing bought the company, and thanks to his investment and a tax abatement from Madison County, it's been business as usual. Governor Curran visited state plating today and announced $100,000 of what could be done together and an investment in the future of Indiana. Uh, and so $50,000 uh, will be used to train 80 members of the existing workforce, uh, as well as I understand some 20 uh, new members uh, of the workforce. Uh, we in addition are providing another $50,000 in what we call tech funds. Grants for businesses are allotted for in the state's yearly budget. And according to employees, without that help, companies like state planning and places like Elwood would go under. You know, the community, the, the community right here, Elwood itself, would have really suffered. Oh, it's pretty big. I mean, this is all we've got, really. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a, it was a big, lot bigger business, and hopefully it'll, it'll be big again. In Elwood, Jill Crean, Newslink, Indiana. State Plating is planning on hiring at least another 40 people before the end of the year. Well, now here's a look at the Newslink Indiana forecast tonight. You can expect partly cloudy skies and a low of 63. The wind will be from the south around 10 miles an hour. Your Wednesday will be a partly cloudy day. However, there is a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms from late morning through the afternoon. The high will be 83. And checking the five-day forecast, there is a chance of showers and thunderstorms almost every day. Temperatures will drop from the low 80s on Thursdays down into the 70s by the weekend. Mild evenings will continue through the entire five days. And that's Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 tomorrow morning for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.